What's up? I'm Emrose and I do a lot of stuff. Welcome to my channel. I'm a writer and artist, but this month is going to be all about my writing projects because I have a proper nano novel to start for the first time in a while. So this video is kind of like last minute preptobering for me. I have been outlining using a tool that I'm really excited to show you. Not in this video, but actually one on Friday. It's going to be a sort of separate thing. But this weekend I'm working on just some of the basics. Planning for the month, getting my calendar set up is going to be one of my tasks. I also need to clean. For me, a clean workspace really, really helps, really brings my stress down and gets me excited to be here. But my desk is a disaster right now. It is covered in paint nail polish and old books and old things that I've used in videos and um, cat fur. Yeah. So cleaning is a big one. Actually cleaning my whole apartment is one thing I want to do just in case I don't have quite as much time as I'd like during the month of November. I would also like to, you know, get some writer fuel, writer reward systems put in place. I think I'm going to have a little bit of a sticker method this year because my brain has just been lighting up um, from stickers. Like I've returned to the second grade. <laughs> but I'm excited about that. I'm going to get some coffees and snacks, like stuff like that lined up. I'm also anticipating a few big challenges for the month and I wanted to talk about those. All right, let's get started. Okay, so November. November is always, um, it's always got that Thanksgiving holiday in there, so I will be traveling for it um, for a few days, and I don't really anticipate writing that much during that time, maybe during, maybe during the travel itself, um, because sometimes I really can knock out words in transit, but I'm going to be spending some time with my family, which hasn't happened too much this year. So that is one challenge. I also have quite a bit of client work right now that I'm still learning how to balance and it is creative, it is writing based. So just figuring out a way to keep my energy up for both that and for knocking out a thousand to two thousand words a day in NaNo will be uh, a tricky balance. Uh, I have a few ideas about how I'm going to combat that. I'm using this app that I hope to review later, but it's called Toggle, and I've been using it to track how much time I spend on client work versus my own projects. So tracking my time has had this interesting effect where I don't multitask quite as much. I actually am intentionally monotasking, which is something I've been really interested in. It has been hard to get my brain into a focus mode lately. It has... I think it's been challenging for many of us in panini brain. Um, a lot of us are feeling really scattered. I also have this added layer, I will say, of my chronic illness, which is kind of my third challenge. I'm anticipating some uh, appointments, some big appointments for me, and also potentially like news and treatment changes. They're all kind of falling in the November month. So that might you know, that might be a challenge. Oh, the last one. Okay. The last one, I just want to reiterate for myself and reiterate for any of you who are doing nano, like nano is hard. <laughs> it is, it's a challenge. It's a novel writing challenge and 50,000 words is really a lot to knock out. And I know for me, I haven't drafted in a while. I've been writing short things, I've been writing revisions, drafting is going to be just a different headspace to embrace. It is, you know, it's creatively draining to, you're coming up with a lot of new and unfamiliar ideas when you're drafting. And that can be an emotional process. It's not really supposed to be easy. I personally don't care if I make it anywhere near that 50,000 word goal, I do want to get like a significant chunk of this new project done. 
So what is the new project? Let's see if I can manage to summarize it. This is a first person triple POV about three teenage witches in a kingdom where witchery was once widespread, but within the past generation has been banned. And one of these young women is the last witch in the palace and they use her skills to eliminate and bind other magical items and powers. And our story begins on the eve of the Crown Prince's marriage festival and our witch is supposed to help provide protection for him during this time because there are murmurs of a witch rebellion. I think that lays it out. I am excited about all the characters, definitely. I outlined it a while ago, so I kind of need a refresh on that. But for the most part, I'm just trying to write quickly and get that feeling of like exploring a, a new and exciting project. That's it for me. Do comment down below if you're doing NaNoWriMo this year. If you want to tell me about your project, that would be awesome too. Let me know if you're a Nano Rebel, if you're starting early or if you're working on a project um, an existing project, for example, instead of a new one. I might start a day or two early, but I don't consider that too rebellious compared to things I've done in the past, honestly. Uh, what other questions do I have for you? What challenges do you see coming for your nano month? What roadblocks might be ahead of you? And do you have any, do you have any plans to combat them? If you'd like to stick around, I make videos about writing craft and my writing life, especially as it relates to creative health. I also am an artist, so sometimes I have fun little chatty art videos too. So please comment down below, like, subscribe, all of that helps out the channel a ton and it helps me keep making these videos. I'm also on Facebook. No, I'm not on Facebook. <laughs> I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. It's at Emrez Eret. And if you want to see some of my art on Redbubble, I'll put the link below. Like this little, this little dude. Oh my god. It's going to be really close to Halloween by the time I post this. So, um, you know, it's bookish. Bookish. <laughs> That's all for now. Until next time, this is Emrez. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs> By the way, I like this look. Okay. <laughs>